Hey guys, welcome to today's workout. So this one is called Mace Bell Blitz. Okay, so we're gonna be working through at 90 seconds of work with a 45 second rest. We're gonna power through all of the exercises. Okay, so that's 90 seconds of each exercise with a 45 second rest between each of those exercises. Okay, so once you've done that, it's gonna take around about 13 minutes to complete those first set of exercises. You take a 60 second rest, and then you're gonna perform round number two, which is gonna be more of a flow workout. So you're gonna perform all of those exercises, but you're gonna perform it as a flow. So instead of going for 90 seconds of work of each exercise, you just do one rep of each exercise, one after the other, okay, as a flow. Powering through as many sets as you can in those six minutes. All right guys, so the first exercise we're gonna do is a meal to a squat. So a meal is a little bit more of a traditional club exercise. We can perform it with the mace. Just making sure though, if you do perform this exercise with a mace, just be aware that you've got that longer handle, not to crack your toes when you're swinging across the front of the body. So anytime you're doing any sort of lateral swinging type movements with a mace, always choke up around about six inches. So we're gonna, if I've got it on my right hand side, I'm gonna shift the weight to the right leg, I'm gonna cast it away from the body. We're gonna do our meal. Back pocket, inside circle, cast, swing. Catching it in the squat with two hands. Step back on the left leg, cast, swing. Come round to the other side, catch it with two hands. Step back, okay, meal. If I'm swinging to my right, I catch it on my right side. Right hand away, left-handed meal. Catch it on my left side. Okay, so that's your meal to your squat. As soon as we've done those, we're gonna go reverse side lunge. So with these, I'm just gonna slide my hand down the mace head as I do the side lunge. So it's basically a side lunge movement, which we've done before. This time though, instead of going laterally, I'm actually gonna step back, but it's the same movement. So big step back, this toe's pointing to the wall, bend this knee, this leg stays straight, this knee tracks the toe. I'm gonna to push down with my right hand and pull with my left, so I rip that mace apart. Coming to the top position, so my right hand is gonna grip the mace handle, my other hand slides down, and I'll repeat the movement on the other side. Okay, we're gonna go into a 360 into rotation uppercut. So we'll do our 360 movement, so hands, into the navel, elbows tucked in, shoulders down and packed down, feet at shoulder width apart, point, toes pointing forward. I do my 360. Okay, this time as it's coming around the shoulder, what I do is I have my hand facing down and I slide it down to the mace head. I bring it into that front stack position and then I punch down with my left hand, pull back with my right hand, rotate the left hip and left foot and then punch up on the other side. Finishing now, I'm gonna pull this hand down switch sides so i'll do a 360 over the other shoulder this time i'm going to catch with my right hand and then punch up with the other side Okay, next exercise, we're gonna go squat with flag press. Okay, so we're gonna be in that rack position. Shoulders are down and packed down. Hands are into the navel. Feet are shoulder width apart. Toes pointing forward. And then from there, we're gonna squat down. Try and keep the thighs parallel to the floor at the bottom if you can. If you can't, just go as low as you can with good technique. From here, arms are fully locked out. Okay, and shoulders are down and packed down. As we're coming into that squat position, draw that hands back into that navel position, and then go again. So pressing out at the bottom and then put it in at that top. Okay, next one we're gonna go is spear strike with an uppercut. So what we do is from here, we're just gonna bring that hand back and then the hand that's close to the mace head, palms facing up, we step forward. Okay, so nice and long through that front arm, pull back with the right arm, push with the left, and then we're gonna pull that mace head back as we punch up with that bottom hand. Step back into the starting position. Swap hands, bring it to the side of the body. Spear strike, nice and long through that front arm. Punch that left hand back, okay? That's your spear strike uppercut. And then we finish off with a 10 and two. So 10 and two, so finish there at the two o'clock position. To the 10 o'clock position, just watching that mace head. 
as it's coming around the shoulders. So that's your six exercises. So you're gonna do 90 seconds of work of each of those exercises with a 45 second rest between each exercise. It's gonna take you about 13 minutes in total. And then round two, you're gonna put that together as a six minute flow, going from one exercise to the next, powering through as many sets as you can in that six minutes. All right, I'll just show you what that looks like. So we're gonna go meal into squat. So we do our meal, squat, meal on the other side, squat, bring it back into the center position, step back, side lunge. Okay, throw it up in the air, step back, side lunge, throw it back, 360, catching it on the other side, other side, 360, into that starting position, squat with flag press, and then bring it down, spear strike, uppercut, changing sides, spear strike, uppercut, and then 10 and two. And then just power through that flow as much as you can in six minutes. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy this workout and I'll see you in the next one. Hey guys, thanks for checking out this video. If you want more videos just like this one, be sure to subscribe to our channel. And if you wanna check out our dangerously fit strength training equipment, all of our products are available through our websites. I'll leave the links in the description below. Thanks again for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one.